Hello everyone. Let's begin with our practical. Our aim is to implement queries based on flower expression. Okay. Flower expression comes under X query. X query is the language for querying our XML database or to retrieve the information which we needed from our XML database. X query for XML is like SQL for databases. Okay. Now flower expression is also pronounced as flower. It is an acronym for for, let, where, order by and return. So for is used to select a sequence of nodes, let is used to bind a sequence to a variable, where is used to filter the nodes by giving some condition, and order by is used to sort the nodes in ascending or descending order. And last is return, is used to what to return and what the output should be. It gets evaluated once for every node. Now let's start with our example. So here we will create an XML database on bookstore. So as we know, the first step is to write the prologue part. So let's begin. Here we will give the version which we are using for XML. It's 1.0. Then the encoding. It's UTF-8. As you know, the by default we use is UTF-8. Then we will create the root node. That is a bookstore. Okay. Then we will create the subchannel node. First will be the category we will give as advanced Java. Our first book is advanced Java. Then we have created the child node as book. Now we will create the subchannel node as title of the book and the language we are using is English so short form will be EN and book name will be learn Java in 24 hours easy and now close the title okay now next we will give the author name author name is necessary the author will be let's give random name as william and again we will close the author now we will give the price as an element let's give price as 500 and close the price okay so here, here we have created one database for advanced java now same way we will create another book okay we will write book name as programming in c c and title we will give as c programming and author name will be r dot k dot sharma and let's reduce the cost by as 200 okay and the one thing we have forgot that we want to we also want to close the book which we have open okay so we will close it as book and also this one book we have closed the child node now we will close the sub child uh, root node so root node is bookstore here here we have completed our xml database and i have saved this xml file in our base x folder base x then etc okay bookstore so let's run it on base x so let's open base x and our file will be in bookstore.xml open it yeah so here you can see our XML data is shown in tabular format, price, title, book name, etc. Now let's perform some operations. That is our floor, our floor of expressions. Okay. So the first we will try is for loop or the for expression. So for we will create one variable, dollar x. This is how we create our variable. Okay. 
now variable in doc document so what is the file name it is bookstore.xml okay bookstore.xml then we will give the path we want to access the book okay so we will give this path bookstore then we will bookstore.xml then we will write bookstore then our book okay then we will write suppose we want to access learn java in 24 hours so we will write where dollar x price is greater than what is our book price is 500 so price will be greater than let's say 400 written title of the book okay so title now let's run it here we get a first book learn java in 24 hours okay now we want to display both books okay so price greater than 100 yeah we get both book okay now let's try let and order by operation okay so as we know let binds a sequence to a variable so the syntax is let okay let dollar bookstore colon equal to then this path okay as you know that this is the x path expression okay remember this and here we will write for dollar x in bookstore and where we want to use order by clause order by uh, title okay order by title run here we get our output now we will change it again we will write order by author name or let's say price yeah first we will get the c programming then learn java in 20 hours okay so this is how we do the floor expression hope you understand thank you